Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the mini free fall tower contest. In this contest all the players had to make some sort of uh, free fall tower, so it could be a launched free fall or uh, simply a drop tower, but there had to be uh, some kind of tower in the map. So yeah, we got uh, quite a lot of uh, really nice entries, so uh, in this video I will go through all of them. I will start at the one that got last place and I'll finish by announcing who is the winner of the round. Alright, in uh, last place we have this entry from uh, Only Chaos DJ. He made this uh, drop tower uh, using the launched freefall uh, track with a roto drop uh, vehicle. Now, uh, he actually wanted to make it really tall, so that's what he did. And he made it so tall that he actually had to uh, uh, manually edit the stats. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> density rating of 2 and a nausea rating of 5 for such a high tower, not uh, sus at all. So there's a trick you can do uh, where you freeze the stat calculation with a ride and then uh, you can simply edit the stats of a ride using the in-game console and that way you can uh, manipulate the stats of any ride. So the story was something about uh, um, with something about DEFCON 1 which is a hard style uh, festival. So that's what this entry was uh, themed after. Alright, let's move on to the next entry. Okay, here's the entry from Uno Reverser Coaster. No, I, I quite like this uh, entry. <laughs> when you open it, it immediately says a regrettable loss this round. <laughs> so this uh, this uh, launched freefall is actually powered by a geyser. You can uh, actually sometimes see it uh, pop up out of the water here. Now, of course, uh, it's uh, really difficult to time uh, your ride correctly with the scenery that's animated. But still, I think it's uh, quite a cool idea to have a ride which is uh, powered by a geyser. You can also see some uh, water splashing out from the top of the tower. And some other decoration here in the map uh, as well. Quite nice uh, landscaping. I like this uh, mud uh, pool here. Some nice trees here as well. Also, I decorated the map edge uh, using some uh, different colors of, uh, of these rocks. So in uh, this contest, uh, recolorable versions of normal uh, base game items are also allowed. So you'll see uh, quite a lot of that uh, in these maps. Okay, here's the entry from Berm the Bomb. He's a relatively new player on my uh, on my Discord. And uh, after seeing uh, the class action Mega Park videos, he decided to make a ride which would fit in uh, would fit in the park quite well. So uh, the cars get lifted uh, up this hill here. And then uh, they get dropped down, and over down here they uh, break very hard. And there's also a safety net here, uh, because uh, apparently some guests uh, have, uh, some of these vehicles have actually crashed. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was part of the story. So uh, quite a silly idea, but uh, also uh, pretty funny. Now, um, my biggest gripe about this entry was that. I uh, really don't like this. Uh, com I really don't like the combination of uh, red and white. I sometimes see it being used in parks, and it's probably one of my least favorite color schemes. Um, so yeah, when there's a lot of that in a park, uh, eh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just not my favorite. But still, uh, like I already said, I think this is a really uh, fun idea, and indeed, this is something that would this uh, style of ride that uh, definitely would fit in the class action mega park. Okay, here's the entry from Lurker. He made this uh, small entry, really nice foliage, uh, beautiful uh, plants, nice little buildings. It's also a display ride here, which is not functional. You can see a mechanic next to it. He's apparently uh, fixing this ride. It looks uh, really nice, even though it's not functional. Uh, yeah, players uh, were not allowed to have more than uh, one opened ride in the park. So that's the uh, reason why you don't see it move. Uh, yeah, Lurker had one of the most uh, yeah, normal uh, freefall uh, rides. So it's simply a launch freefall in uh, downward launch mode. So it goes to the top and then it uh, drops down to the bottom. But yeah, nice uh, diagonal paths with these uh, nice fences right next to it. Here's a nice little sign. Yeah, it's just a really uh, charming and uh, beautiful entry from Lurker. Alright, here's the entry from Immortal Cactus. Now, he actually got a small point penalty because uh, he used some custom scenery in the map that was not allowed. But still, uh, I think uh, 
yeah, even though he got the penalty, he scored really well in his uh, with his park. Hey, what I actually like most about this entry is that there's a retractable floor under this, uh, yeah, under this uh, coaster when it's when it starts here or under this ride when it starts. Um, it is very slow to uh, go up again uh, though, so maybe it could have uh, used a bit of a faster uh, chain lift uh, in this in this part. Not really sure how it uh, travels up if it uses a chain lift for that, but if it does, yeah, it uh, it takes quite a long time. So maybe that could have been improved. Um, here you can actually see the ride operator. I think that's also a really uh, fun touch. It just adds so much life uh, to a park if you just freeze an entertainer somewhere. Um, let's see if we can see the floor in action. So yeah, the ride arrives here, and you can see the floor uh, uh, pop up below the ride again. Now, I'm not sure how we did that, how we timed that, but uh, it's just such a neat trick. That's uh, uh, one of my favorite details uh, in this uh, in this map. Uh, the the walls here, I think they also look uh, pretty nice, although they are a tad glitchy in uh, in some points. But yeah, I uh, really like this uh, entry from uh, Immortal Cactus. Really nice job. Okay, here's the entry from DDD Rob. Uh, he made this uh, roto drop. Now it's actually e very easy to miss, but it's actually a shoestring ride. So uh, yeah, when you open the park, it actually just looks like a normal road to drop, even drop though it drops a little bit slower. But uh, when it goes up, you can see it actually stops halfway, then drops a bit, goes up, drops a bit, and finally it climbs to the top and then drops uh, to the bottom again. But yeah, it's uh, it's quite easy to miss, and that's why it's important to uh, actually save your uh, park in the moment that you want uh, viewers to see. As I saw in the review that some people uh, completely missed that it was actually a shoestring ride. Now I think I really like the way this map looks and this sun is actually uh, really cool. I really like uh, that part. And just uh, nice uh, decorations throughout the map. I quite like the uh, foliage as well. You can also see some of these black towers with the guests on top, sacrificial victim. <laughs> yeah, there's some uh, cool uh, temples throughout the map. Yeah, I think uh, DDD Rob did a wonderful uh, job on this uh, on this entry. All right, here's the entry from Ethan. Now I think it looks incredible. I mean, I really love the way he did all the scenery here, these rocks on the side, the foliage, and especially these towers. They look amazing. But yeah, the one thing that held him back from scoring any higher was that he actually accidentally broke his uh, tower. Um, yeah, if you look here, you can see part of the tower is missing. He probably accidentally deleted it, and that's why the coast, the or the rotor drop is simply stuck here. So yeah, that's a, that's a real shame. I think it uh, would have scored uh, quite well if that part was actually there because this tower just looks incredible. I love all the details on it, all the different scenery pieces. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing uh, tower. So it's a shame uh, to see that the ride doesn't actually function properly. Alright, then we have a tie for 11th place. This is the entry from Colorblind Unicorn. He made a ride reminiscent of uh, Tower of Terror. So you can see this big tower and you can see these elevator cabins uh, traveling uh, up and down in it. Even moving it forwards a bit. Actually, it uh, looks like they're sort of uh, synchronized in a way that uh, only uh, one tower or one cabin can be in a tower at the, uh, at the same time. Not really sure how that's done, but uh, I think it's a really uh, clever trick. It's probably uh, even... Uh, yeah, it looks like there are four separate rides. But yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> if I really want to look how it's done, I should uh, just uh, dig into it a little bit deeper. But yeah, um... It's a, it's a really fun uh, ride to watch. It's fun to see these elevator cabins uh, go up and down in these towers and uh, pass through these, uh, pass in front of these openings. It's a clever uh, shoestring, and it's, uh, it's just uh, really nicely done. Okay, here's the ride from Eliton. He made a very uh, interesting, uh, yeah, free fall tower. It's uh, unlike any of the other entries uh, I've seen. So uh, yeah, the cars climb up this tower here, and then here they go face down, uh, down this drop, 
and they actually uh, slow down uh, sometimes and then they go faster again. There's a bit of a jarring transition here. Uh, yeah, it's always tricky uh, using these vertical pieces and then merging them. Um, yeah, the merge works, but uh, it just uh, looks a little bit weird in the, in this section where you, trans where you transition from the uh, the air powered vertical coaster track to normal vertical uh, coaster track. It, when you do something like this, it's probably best to just put some scenery in front of here to just hide this uh, transition. Because this just looks a little bit, uh, let's call it uncomfortable. But yeah, other than this, uh, I think the scenery here looks uh, looks great. I love all these uh, temples that he made with all these different pieces. He also uh, put some of these uh, maze pieces uh, over here with plants in them. One of these uh, statues here. Yeah, I think uh, Elithan did a, an amazing job here. Also love this uh, bridge that he made. Yeah, it's uh, just a wonderful entry. Okay, here's the entry from Willow536. He made this uh, quadruple uh, uh, set of uh, free fall towers, all with uh, different colors. And they're all uh, inside these uh, beautiful gardens. Uh, yeah, I think the gardens here look uh, look pretty nice. Yeah, a lot of guests uh, on these spots and I also like the way these uh, queues uh, for the rides have been done uh, one thing I'm not really sure about is the colors of these rings here on the top they're all uh, in different colors and uh, I think it maybe would have been nicer if they were the same uh, color uh, but yeah overall I think this is uh, this is quite a nice uh, entry one of my favorite parts is uh, this spiral that was uh, made here above the entrance of the of the rides that, uh, that, that looks uh, pretty nice. It's called Quadra Force. <laughs> That's quite a uh, quite a nice uh, name for the ride. But yeah, maybe uh, with a little bit fewer guests would have been nicer because uh, yeah, they uh, they tend to make the the path a little bit uh, filthy. <laughs> okay, then we have another tie for eighth place. This is the entry from Jess Anden. Now I love the way he made his tower. So he used all these uh, colorable versions of these uh, stone pillars and he used that to make this beautiful tower. I really like this uh, these color gradients that he used here. And also this uh, statue on top. This is just a beautiful uh, tower for the <laughs> for the for the launched uh, free fall. You can also see part of a coaster here called Magma Blaster which opens uh, next year apparently. I like the way he did the supports for it. Um, not really sure about this uh, track, which is underground with just this little fence next to it. Um, I always like to have my cozy track off the ground. Um, but yeah, just a uh, um, yeah, beautiful uh, decoration here. I love the way he did the landscape with these uh, volcano rocks. I also love how the um, the freefall tower actually uh, pops up from out of this uh, volcano. That's pretty cool. <laughs> he even used some of these recolorable statues to make this uh, volcano here. So yeah, there was also a really nice uh, story uh, to go with it. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Jess Anden did an uh, amazing job on this entry. Now, also in 8th place, we have this entry from Safi Adam. Um, he made this uh, Intamin first gen uh, drop tower. And um, I believe it's called uh, Elevator. And the, yeah, the map edge also uh, represents that team. <laughs> Lots of uh, fire around this ride. Uh, I really like the way uh, Adam uh, decorated uh, this ride. I think he did a great job on uh, the station of it. But also uh, the queue for the ride uh, looks pretty nice. I like how he made this uh, these uh, stairs uh, next to it. Probably evacuation uh, chairs or maintenance stairs. And uh, there's also Adam's typical way of uh, doing uh, foliage here. Oh yeah, um, I really like how Adam uh, presents his entry, also with this uh, map edge like this. A little restaurant here. So yeah, a um, wonderful uh, job from uh, Safi Adam. Now, and we go from one uh, first gen Intamin drop tower to the next. Uh, this one's from old school. Now, I really love uh, the color scheme that he uh, that he went for. This is uh, really a, this is a beautiful palette and. Uh, I think the colors he uh, chose for this entry work uh, together really well. This is brown and this uh, green. And yeah, it just looks uh, beautiful in this uh, foliage. Also with this, uh, these balloon colors. 
Oh, it's just a beautiful like uh, queue that he made for the ride. I also love the structure that he made for the ride. Although maybe uh, it's a little bit overkill uh, at this part of the track. Uh, yeah, the the ride just looks uh, beautiful. Uh, also, again, some stairs. Uh, old school made these stairs at the back of the ride, which I think also looks uh, really nice. Here's a lot, lots of these uh, dodgem uh, roof pieces. Um, yeah, not really sure what this is. Um, oh yeah, you can the guys can uh, buy balloons here, and this is uh, another uh, shop over here. And again, uh, probably a little restaurant here. Yeah. So yeah, lots in common uh, between the entries of Savvy Adam and uh, Old School. But yeah, um, love the I love the way uh, Old School uh, built this entry. Great job. All right, here's the entry from Fidwell. Uh, he made this uh, beautiful uh, castle here. Uh, some insane uh, landscaping. <laughs> you can see all these uh, all these plants here uh, tr going up the mountain. Uh, at the top of this uh, hill, there's all these uh, all these trees. A little water stream, and the water stream goes down here with the um, yeah free fall uh, drop uh, in front of it. And actually, it not only uh, goes uh, up above the ground, but actually also dives uh, into the ground. Also, kind of uh, how I uh, like to make uh, my launched uh, or my free fall towers in uh, several of my maps. Oh well, yeah, I uh, really like the landscaping in this entry. It's quite uh, extreme. Well, extreme in the sense of uh, lots of uh, height differences. I love how this castle actually rests on the side of the mountain here. And I also really like uh, the yeah the transition to this uh, to the water here with these different kinds of uh, foliage here. So yeah, I uh, I really uh, like that. Also like how there's a little shark uh, here in the water. The boat is also pretty nice. So yeah, Fedwell just did a really nice uh, job here. I just wish uh, the launched freefall was uh, maybe decorated a bit more. Okay, here's the entry from Mr. Buffalo. Now, it's a very uh, interesting palette that he used. Gives everything a bit of uh, a greenish uh, hue, a gray green. And he made this uh, beautiful uh, lighthouse here with uh, one of these uh, freefall uh, drops uh, on the side. Again, it's one of those shoestring rides. So it actually travels up and down uh, several times. And it also uh, drops uh, into the ground here. So yeah, fun ride uh, to watch. Um, now I really uh, like the way he did uh, the landscaping here. Uh, yeah, it, this just looks beautiful also with this uh, palette. Not really sure how he did the, the floor uh, pattern here, but it looks uh, really nice. Probably just done with, the, with some palette uh, shenanigans. Yeah, this uh, actually looks like some sand here. Um, it's actually ice, but uh, yeah, it may just looks like uh, some calcite, uh, something like that. Yeah, I uh, really love the way uh, this uh, this uh, lighthouse was uh, was built. It just looks uh, beautiful. You can see Patrick walking around here. <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of the best uh, lighthouse uh, lighthouses I've seen anyone uh, make in this game. Oh, here's another interesting trick. He actually used one of these double deck observation towers to make part of the structure here of the lighthouse. Very uh, clever. Okay, here's the entry from Mulpia. No, I almost uh, forgot to add uh, Mulpia's entry to the voting pool. But in the end, uh, I added a separate uh, form with Mulpia's entry, so people still got to vote on it. So, yeah, Mulpia made some uh, beautiful uh, buildings over here. Um, I love all the different uh, layers that were used all the for all the different floors. Also a section of the park here which is uh, apparently still under development. You can see some of these uh, containers here. Here's a ride which is in uh, test mode. And here you can see the actual uh, launched freefall. Kind of a weird uh, structure. So it goes up vertically here. Here it twists around and then it... Uh, uh, yeah, continues on in the, you know, in this little curve here on the top before it uh, falls down again, twists around, and uh, goes back to the station. So yeah, interesting <laughs> last free fall ride. Uh, not really sure how I feel about it, but uh, a lot of people uh, really like this entry, so that's why it's at uh, fourth place. So yeah, um, I think it's a it's a beautiful entry. 
Uh, especially, uh, I especially really like these uh, houses here that uh, Milpia made, and of course the pathing and the landscape here. They uh, look really nice. Okay, here's the entry from Enox. Enox made this uh, beautiful crane here in this uh, cityscape. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool idea to have a, a free fall tower on the side of a crane. Um, it's uh, actually a multi dimension coaster uh, free fall. So the guests are actually sitting uh, next to the track, going. Uh, yeah, they're actually facing uh, facing down. And it actually uh, looks like it's uh, also a shoe strung because. Uh, yeah, it travels up and down several times uh, along the length of the of the freefall uh, tower. Yeah, lots of uh, shoe strong entries uh, in this contest. Uh, I think that uh, it's really good to see all the players uh, use tricks like that in their entries. Now the crane also beautiful. I uh, really like the way uh, Enox uh, constructed it. Also love this uh, control cabin here. Um, yeah, you can actually see this. Uh, uh, trolley traveling uh, along the length of the of the crane here. It's even a uh, guy here, Elven Wood, enjoying the view. This counterweight. Yeah, there's just uh, so many nice uh, details here. Also, the cityscape is uh, beautiful. Although I think it would have been nice to actually see the traffic uh, move instead of seeing it uh, all stuck uh, here in the, at the junction. But yeah, it's a beautiful entry from uh, Enox. Alright, there's just uh, two entries uh, remaining. I will first show both of them and after that I will reveal which one is the winner of the round. And I can already tell you the scores are really close. Okay, here's the entry from Lord Blackadder. Now you may be wondering where is the actual uh, freefall tower? Well, if we rotate the map you can actually see it. It's a very unassuming uh, <laughs> entry, but uh, yeah, you can actually see it here. So there's a submarine here. Uh, it goes up and then it drops down into this uh yeah this uh below this uh part of the city which is uh, actually below the water you can see some entertainers uh, walking around here uh yeah i think that's uh, that's really clever um yeah it's just such a fun idea to actually have a submarine that uh, drops down um well this underwater section is just uh executed so nicely it uh, it's actually uh, believable it uh, actually looks like it's underwater with all this uh, giant grass here also this uh, shark uh, that's uh, swimming around and then these other sea creatures it's just uh, so well executed Sad sadly it's only visible uh, from uh, one angle it's probably some of these black uh, monorail walls uh, in front and here on top uh, we also have a section that's in the sky with all these uh, propellers here uh, and this uh, all these suspended monorails uh, traveling uh, around here you can also see some guests walking around but a few of quite a few of them are actually trying to leave the park so i don't think this is actually connected to uh, to this area of the park not really sure but yeah it's just uh, <laughs> it's just such a beautiful uh, entry there's all these uh, beautiful details also like this uh, this uh, 3D cinema here, also this uh, called the First Lady. Um, ah, yeah, so it has no entrance, no platform. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah, it's just very clever usage of uh, of uh, the black tile color and also hiding the platform of the ride. And same for the 3D cinema, that's also very uh, very nicely hidden. Well, yeah, that's the advantage of uh, things that can only be seen from one angle. You can uh, hide uh, much more than you normally would if you build uh, f stuff that's visible from all four angles. But yeah, a wonderful entry from uh, Lord Blackadder um, or Captain Blackadder. Um, yeah, it's just uh, incredibly uh, detailed, um, and uh, the the freefall tower is also uh, very nice. Okay, here's the entry from Rhythm. Now, this really uh, blew me away <laughs> when I saw it. Uh, already from this side, it's, it looks beautiful. There's these uh, four uh, towers. Uh, also, the side of the map is decorated in a really nice way. But when you uh, rotate the map uh, twice, you can actually look inside the tower. And you can see these uh, synchronized uh, drop towers here on the inside. 
I mean, this is uh, this is just <laughs> incredible, especially uh, considering there's no actual uh, diagonal vertical track. So this track is simply made to look like they're going uh, vertical. And what I think is probably most incredible is actually that there's uh, also these uh, elevator cabins which uh, look like a floor under this ride and as soon as the ride start um, these cabins actually retract making it uh, look like the floor moves out of the way. That's just uh, such a cool trick, kind of like what we saw from uh, Immortal uh, Cactus. That's just uh, such a cool uh, detail. Not really sure uh, how he did it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, it's just a synchronized ride, but uh, yes, it just, uh, it just looks so cool. So you can see the guests uh, uh, queuing here. That's also so fun uh, to watch. Yeah, it's just some uh, beautiful uh, scenes here. So you, here you can see the, this is probably the, the control room for the, for the ride, where this is uh, security. Yeah, this, uh, this map is just uh, so full of nice little details. Uh, what you can see over here is actually sliding doors, also more of these uh, elevator uh, cabins. Yeah, this, that's just uh, such a fun detail. And also beautiful foliage here uh, throughout uh, the map. So yeah, definitely uh, one of the coolest things I've ever seen uh, in this game. Okay, now that we've seen these two entries, it's time to reveal which one is the winner of the round. The winner of the mini Freefall Tower contest is... Rhythm! I, I like I already said, this entry just uh, blew me away. Um, I thought it was, this was so incredibly cool. Um, Lord, Black, uh, Lord Blackadder uh, probably had uh, yeah, had probably had the edge in the form of uh, theming, but uh, Rhythm uh, definitely got a better score for, from, uh, for the ride from uh, people. So yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, why he won uh, this round. But yeah, um, like I already said before, the scores for uh, for these two players were really close. I believe it was only 0 0.02 difference. So any uh, vote uh, could have uh, swayed the results. But yeah, I'm uh, glad this one uh, won because <laughs> this uh, trick is just so incredibly cool. But yeah, lots of uh, beautiful entries in this round. Lots of uh, shoes ringing. So it's really nice uh, seeing so many players uh, uh, try their hand uh, at that. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching all these entries. Uh, we'll start a new uh, mini contest uh, soon-ish. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It will only take uh, one second and it will really help out uh, my channel. Uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>